first person known for forming curves out of straight lines was a truly remarkable Englishwoman named Mary Everest Boole, 1832 to 1916. Her curve stitching was designed to encourage children to explore mathematics through playful activities. This form of art then became a popular hobby again in the late 1960s. String art is a technique where you hammer a series of nails on a basis to form the outline of a figure, which you then complete, weaving thread, yarn or string around the nails. This way you can create decorative crafts that could be super easy, but also complex and articulate. In this video, I will show you how to take this old-fashioned art and give it a modern flair. Here, I used a 240 by 240 mm plyboard. The image has already been stenciled and outlined with nails, so it is ready for threading. The original picture is made up of four colors, pink, brown, yellow, and red, and will be threaded in this order. Beginning with the tongue. Tie a double knot to any nail on the outline of the tongue and cut the loose end about 3 mm away from the knot. Now, this form of string art is freestyle which simply means that there is no set pattern which you have to follow. Choose a path to any nail on the opposite side and loop the thread around the nail. Choose another path to the next nail and loop the thread around the nail. When moving from one nail to the next, the thread should form a U or a V as it loops around the nail. Do not cross the thread at the shaft of the nail. Loops can go around the same nail three or four times as long as the path to the next nail changes. This will give the required color to complete the area. Just like you would color in a picture. Here, the board is your page and the thread is the crayon. Once the area is complete, Tie it off with a double knot and cut about 3 mm away from the knot. Moving on to the brown. Tie a double knot and cut 3 mm away from the loose end. Begin threading in the same way as the pink, moving from one nail to the next until the area is colored in. Tie off with a double knot and cut the thread. The yellow has the biggest area to cover, so here we can go a little crazy, just stay clear of the eye area. Continue threading by moving evenly across the yellow area. Staying with the yellow thread, I am going to neaten the mouth with a figure 8 loop. I will show you how to do the figure 8 loop towards the end of the video. Still using the yellow thread, loop it around one of the outer nails to neaten the face all the way around with a figure 8 loop and tie it off with a double knot. Finally, complete the eyes, one at a time by following the same process and neaten the edges with the same figure 8 loop. If you missed how to make a double knot earlier on in the video, here it is again. Make a loop and feed the end into it. Take the end outside the loop and pass it through once more. Pull both ends to tighten. The two turns come close together to create a firm knot. Remember when looping around the nail it must either resemble a U or a V never an X. The figure 8 loop. Move from nail 1, and pass the outside of nail 2, and clockwise around nail 3, then bring it back anti-clockwise around nail 2. Next, pass nail 3 in clockwise around nail 4, and bring it back anti-clockwise around nail 3. Continue pass 4 around 5 and back to 4. Pass 5 around 6 and back to 5 and so on. And there you have it an old-fashioned art with a modern flair. Happy threading!